What's up guys, I am Switters. Welcome back to Vampire Part 34. We're picking up where we left off exactly left uh, last time. Before we ask her the next question, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, maybe put something down on the comments. Are you alright? I heard the hospital has been attacked. I'm okay. I don't think anyone's hurt. But we haven't heard from Dr. Swansea. Do you think he's been taken then? Yes. There's been shouts in his office, and, and then these brutes left the hospital without a word. Hmm. Oh, we could. And look how many points. 5,000. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. I think we gotta leave, uh... Someplace intact for a little while. I wish I could have found that uh, detective and everything back where we were last episode. There's Those his bastards! What have they done to Edgar? There's got to be something to find in here. Yeah. Warning letter. Dear Doctor Swansea, I must inform you of my uh, deepest reservations concerning the Doctor Thoreau Strickland and Harvey Fittick case. Mr. Fittick has been hospitalized after a severe work injury. He may permanently lose the use of his arm if not treated adequately. Doctor Strickland claims that the surgical procedure may save the man's arm completely. I say it may also uh, severe its functions for good. Sever, maybe. It says severe, but whatever. Its functions for good if complications arise. Our young colleague is an audacious and daring surgeon who might prove a great professional in a few years, but for now he lacks the skill to perform such a risky procedure. Need I remind you of the mistakes he made in the past? Since Dr. Strickland refuses to listen to me, I strongly advise you to forbid him to perform such a hazardous experiment. Very respectfully, Waverly Ackroyd. Did we kill him? I don't remember if we killed him, Ackroyd or not. Thoreau's medical skills have been questioned in the past. Okay, he has neuralgia. Okay, um, <clears throat> follow the blood trail. Okay. Anything else before I leave here that is necessary to pick up? Yes, what was that? Rakesh. Chadana. Is open? I'll let you guys pause and read it. I'm not going to bother right now. We have new hints about him. We'll pull that up later. McCullum and his thugs are taking the credit for Edgar's abduction. They really mean business. Should we talk to him? You think? Where did the blood? Did it go upstairs? The blood? Yes, we get to go upstairs finally. What is up here? So we come up here just to find an elevator that what? Goes down? <laughs> Who knows? <clears throat> Maybe it's a secret basement or something. I love secret passageways. What I was saying before in one of these episodes about uh, Lady Ashbury's house, I think it was. I wanted to see, I was saying I wanted to see more of her house. I just have this thing. You guys ever watch the movie Clue? I think they're actually doing a remake of it now, but I would strongly, strongly recommend watching the original uh, with Tim Curry and Christopher Lloyd, I think, and... Uh, What's her name? Madeline Kahn? I, th I think that's who it is. I think she died, actually, some years ago. It's a great movie, though. It's very funny. It's a, you know, it's based on the board game. They made it from that. Um. Ultravoilet curtains and ori powder. Ah, Dr. Swansea's always ah, been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. 
Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for one. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Here we go. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Freewind prevails! Coward? Give you a little bit of that just to start off with. Oh, 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 lots of bullets. I gotta keep an eye on just how much damage he's doing to me. His gun is pretty strong. Come on, Reed. Uh. Oh, I'm definitely dead. His gun is very, very powerful. And so is his sword. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I think it's serum time. And we have to stay out of the light. Jesus, he's faster than me too. Everything about this guy is more powerful than me. Christ. Show some style. Fight like a man. Ah, damn. Dude, stop with the bullets. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Is it? Gotta stay out of the sun. I'm not even close to taking this guy down, and I... I'm using up all my stuff. True light will cleanse you! Free wind prevails! Defender of this land will protect me. Let's take you down. I can't move. I can't move. I didn't even come close. I mean, not even close. This one is going to be difficult. I thought Doris Fletcher was hard, but. Man, I just got to start taking people out. I really do. I know I've said that so many times, but I'm trying to, like, leave some of the, you know, quote-unquote good people. But I just don't think it's worth it. I mean, I'm getting mopped up with this guy. 
How much damage did I do to him? I took down one of his bars? Like one and a half, maybe? He just smoked me. He's faster, he's stronger, he's got the gun. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Walk through it, man. Oh my god. But if you're so innocent, what is that? It does nothing to him. Show some style. Find a command. Gotta stay out of the sun. Dude, he just launches himself forward. And then I can't get away. Come on, Reed. Try something else. Get out of the light, bitch. This is gonna hurt. I'll take you down. Sorry, I know I'm not talking, but he just can follow me with all this stuff. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. I don't even know what just hit me. Get away from me with that crap. Show some style. Fight like a man. Oh. Uh oh. I know. It hurts, doesn't it? I pressed Free the wrong prevails. button. The wrong serum. I just wasted it. Oh, come on. And I can't even get away from that attack once he hits. I can't use my special. You can't win this. I couldn't use the, uh... True light will cleanse you! One of my special attacks. He chases me! I gotta, I gotta, I'm just trying to heal up a little bit here. I know! It hurts, doesn't it? Get out of the sun. I'm talking about being a man. You're the one hiding. Bitch. True light will cleanse you. Stay out of the sun. Oh, well, the light, whatever. God. Come on, get out of the sun. I know! It hurts, doesn't it? Oh my god. Dude, he gets me trapped. 
and then I gotta run away through the light. True light will while he's hitting me. Once he, do he does that triple attack, when he gets you with that first one, if he gets you with it, you can't move out of the way of two and three. I have no more serums. How much of the room it's taken up now? I just gotta get him to. Hurts, doesn't it? Uh, come on, I almost have my beast back. Don't hit me. No, 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 no. Yes. Still didn't do it. That didn't even do that much. It's light. Gotta get him to swing and miss that first time. Come on, buddy. I thought he got me. <laughs> we are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. <sighs> I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? Oh, we're gonna there kill him, no we're gonna kill him. There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. We should do it, do it. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? No, you sacrifice a thousand XP in the process. It'll, I'll make you a vampire. Ooh, I either spare him or make him a vampire. Oh boy, I gotta do it. <laughs> I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. No! Kill me! Bring it in. Prepare yourself, Hunter. You're about to be hunted. Just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed uh, you, uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Uh, uh, uh. That was gross. Welcome to the world through the looking glass. 
Damn, that was pretty ruthless. I admit, that was a little bit ruthless of me, but it was a really hard fight. <laughs> and I don't like this dude. He was a dick to us uh, the first time we met him in Swansea's office. And he's just got a hard on for us, man. He wasn't gonna stop, so. Uh, I thought we were, you know, I wanted to get the experience points. I knew that wasn't going to happen when, you know, that prompt came up. I either spare him or we actually lose XP by turning him, but give him a little taste of his own medicine. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, please do. And we'll be back with part 35 real soon.